Ishkalax means the twins. It, it refers to the two large gaps in the barrier reef. It has been a trading location for the Mayan science 200 BC. It, 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 was, it was a growing city, a growing city in, in, in the 1955. Like Hurricane Janet destroyed um, in the town. There are almost 400 um, residents today. Hello, my name is Joan. Well, my name is Nato. Uh, my name is Jesus Hernandez. Uh, my friends is call me uh, Chucho. I, I guide in, I guide for Nishkalak. I'm Jesse Colton. I'm the owner and operator of this lodge, the X Flats, in Nishkalak, Mexico. So I first came down here as a fisherman, and then obviously got involved here, um, you know, on sort of a business front, and started this lodge, and then got on sort of the third level got super involved with the community. Ishklak is just so far behind the development of so many other places. Um, it still has this like really local charm to it. There's no chain anything. There's no bars here. There's no like massive beachside Margaritaville restaurants. It's just like, I don't think Ishklak really looks that much different than it probably did decades ago. Fly fishing means you know, life, it means sustainable economy, it means um, a great job for a ton of families here. And that money created from fly fishing spreads throughout the community so quickly because the community is tight-knit and small, so it goes really far here. I think before this lodge, some of the best independent guides in particular weren't, weren't getting, uh, you know, a ton of work here. And then, um, you know, through working with Yellow Dog and, and also gaining a, a good base of clients, we have brought a year-round um, busy um, business for our guides and for our staff here. Um, so x plays, you know, a pretty significant role in fly fishing economy in Ishkalak now. I think the English project started out for me as first layer as a businessman and as you know being in charge of growing this business and continuing to improve it I wanted our guides and our employees to be able to talk with the staff and make better friends with them. I think as we're going forward through it, the next level for me is really seeing like the youth of Ishkalak and some of our kids learning English because um, they're pretty disadvantaged not being taught English. I feel like when they go to secondary school, which is high school for them, because they have no English skills, they're not set in line to go get those successful jobs, either in government or high-level hospitality, tourism, that kind of stuff. So um, I'd like to see it um, really help like the youth of Ishkalak be able to diversify their education a bit. My name is Carson Klug, and I'm a student at Bozeman High School. My mom and I, like a few years ago, we were thinking about like kind of going down and like starting something like this, but then we never, we didn't really have the resources to. I, I wrote the grant so that we could give money so that we could fund the project so that we could do all this stuff, you know? And I also, I reached out to individual people and I asked them for donations to help support us. And we realized like we were gonna need a lot more help because it was really difficult to do that. So we called in Ellen and Kevin and Naomi and yeah we put it all together and I think it's going really well. My name is Ellen Gettler and I'm the English Learner Coordinator for the Bozeman School District and I'm the curriculum designer for the Ishkalak English Project. I actually created three curriculums. One was for the guides, one was for the hospitality and customer service staff and one was for the children and with each curriculum I focused on the social demands that they find in their jobs and the language they need to um, be able to engage successfully with the clients and people that they serve. We're really hoping to develop a week-long intensive in the summers and then follow that up with a YouTube channel and Carson Klug and her Spanish class are going to help develop and produce the videos that will have um, dialogues for each of the, the various groupings. So that's also a component that we can put online and really support this community in becoming not only bilingual orally, but actually biliterate. Our vision for sustainability for the Ishkalak English Project is to build the skills of a core group of English learners now, and as they become more and more bilingual, to pass the baton and materials and do some intensive training with them so that they can continue teaching other members in the community and the younger children coming up. 
And what's so wonderful is that this can be a multi-generational um, project that will sustain the community, support economic development, and ensure an excellent paying job and just a real sense of pride in their work for this, these families. Um, me interesó porque es un es una forma es un, una forma de seguir salir adelante en mi trabajo y aprender más el inglés porque realmente no no sé mucho y es muy importante para mí. Me gustaría que más adelante vinieran a apoyarnos con otro curso de inglés y pues sí me interesé mucho eso, aprender más. Mi nombre es Nayeli, mi esposo es pescador, es guía. Eh, aprendimos sobre las estaciones del año, eh, aprendimos a dialogar con las personas, preguntar cómo estás, bienvenido aquí al lugar, que disfrute su estancia, preguntar si, necesit si estaba cómodo, todo estuvo muy divertido, la verdad es, nos, nos gustó mucho la actividad, eh, fue de gran apoyo, eh, estoy muy contenta y quisiera que esto siguiera. Mi nombre es Felipe y soy guía de Exflat. Ayer usamos en un recorrido snorkel y un poquito de pesca. Usé unas palabras que aprendí en la escuelita que no sabía exactamente cómo son. Y mi hijo Nelson y yo estamos muy agradecidos. My name is Nelson. ¿Qué quieres hacer uh, para el trabajo? Maestro de inglés. He aprendido mucho inglés y me han enseñado mucho. ¿Los meses? ¿Recuerdas los meses? Sí, es January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, October, uh, October September, October, November, December. Wow! Oh, that's good. Good. The Yellow Dog Community and Conservation Foundation has played a key role in making this project a reality. They helped with airfare, they, they bought picture dictionaries for each of the families, and they've just been super supportive in, in supporting us as teachers in making this a reality. Thanks to everyone who donated to and supported this project. Um, I think that it had a really big, big impact. I'd like to say thanks to everybody that um, that donated to the project and allowed this to happen. Um, you're really making dreams come true down here, and, and you're getting the community together, and they're enjoying it. So thank you to all the donors. Thank you very much.